Hello and welcome to this Power BI tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today we're going to look at how we can store our DAX measures cleanly and efficiently and also look at implementing a folder structure. So here's the issue. I've used this data set before in a previous video and you can see I have several measures but they're quite messy and if we had potentially hundreds of columns and much more data it can be hard to even find our measures or remember what they're called. Um, and, and really, when we're if we have potentially multiple people working on a project, this could be very problematic. So we're going to fix that. Just to demonstrate, I'm going to show you when we create a new measure, it can sometimes appear randomly. So it appeared in our date table there. Just to sort of caveat this, it's still going to work regardless of what table it's in. It'll still reference the right columns. So if it ends up in the date table within our fields, well, I, I wouldn't worry um, too much, but we're gonna look at how we can streamline all of this anyway. So we'll just do a simple calculate function where we're looking at the total sales and we're gonna look at the total sales by our region. So here, this is the previous, it's just a simple sales data set. And I'm gonna make this region equal to east wrapped within our calculate function and this should work. So when we implement it and drag it into our dashboard, we'll see that despite it being within the date table, it still functions even though it's referencing the other table. So it's important to note that straight away. Um, but now we're gonna look at how we can actually make a measures table. So we can click on the enter data button within our home ribbon. We'll name this measures table because that's what's going to be. We want to make these things as descriptive as possible. And I'll just rename the column header. We're actually going to delete this, but I'll just rename it something specific that I can remember. So something like dummy column, and I know that I can delete this. So if we let everything load into our data model, now you'll see we have a measures table, great. And all that's present right now is the dummy column. So we said our issue is that we now have a measure in the date table and we have many measures within our sales table. And we want to unite this, streamline it and make everything efficient. So to do this, we need to go into our relationships and you can see I've just moved the table so it's easy for us to see and I'll just select it. Now, I can actually drag other measures that I've previously created into this table. So I'll speed this up a little bit and I'll show you how simple it is within relationships. We simply can drag and drop these measures. And then after this, we'll look at how we can organize these. Okay, so it already looks a lot better. Uh, but as I said, if we had lots of measures and huge data sets or even large data sets, we're gonna still need to structure this to really get the most power out of it. So in order to level this up just a little bit, we can select any measure we like. And then within this properties pane, you'll see that we have a display folder option. And the arrow should now point to this. And what we're going to call this one let's say is time intelligence because these are sort of sales to date and previous year's measures so we can drop those in there and remember we said especially when we have big data sets we want to make these naming conventions as specific as possible so as before we can simply drag and drop these measures within the relevant folder within our measures table And we'll just repeat the process um, so that we can store the other measures efficiently and keep things specific. So we'll just say something like total sales measures 
and again we'll drag and drop these in. Alright, looks great, everything's clean, specific, as efficient and simple as it needs to be and now we simply just delete the dummy column and you'll see we now have a very neat measures table if anyone wants to collaborate there's no issues there and everything is where it should be specific and we can find it so as usual if you like this content please feel free to like comment subscribe and share thank you